Right, adding to the conversation, we also spoke with Rachel Cruz. She's a personal finance expert, and we wanted to talk about the steps that people can take immediately to really safeguard your finances. Let's listen. In order to safeguard your finances, you have to be in control of your money. It is so much easier for, to let your money control you. So you have to be intentional. Things like doing a budget, getting out of debt, and knowing exactly where your money is going is going to give you peace of mind. You know, when you take a look at that, uh, you know, Dr. Marks, I think really sitting down and taking a look at where your finances are and how much money is going out and where, what are the percentage rates, you know, all those kind of things are things that people really should be doing right now. Well, uh, uh, we talk about right now, I, I would hope people have been doing this doing beforehand. <laughs> I mean, we've had enough signals of what has been going on and what we can have been, uh, what we can anticipate, if you will. Uh, but Rachel is exactly right. Safeguard your finances. Even in good times, it's important to do that. And I think we've experienced that, particularly in the state of Connecticut, when we look at the budget and, and the success in the Connecticut budget in particular, uh, it would be wise to safeguard our finances and not view that we have a blank check. So that's even at a bigger level, at a government level, as individuals, we, need, we should be doing that regularly, good times and bad, but it becomes more important now.